Hey guys, you guys, we're back to my channel. Today, I am reacting to Linky Bell's the most embarrassing day of my life. And I have heard, I have gotten some hate over reacting to Linky Bell's, but I'm still gonna react to it. Yes, it's spite everybody. So guys, let's get right into it. And remember guys, I'm gonna come to me and show. As well, it was suggested to me by this one person right here. So guys, let's have, look into it and have fun. Boom. What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Bot. Woo! Adam, now today the story I'm gonna tell you, oh man, this is the story of the most embarrassing day. I thought, you, I thought it was every day for you. Okay. Now this story takes place back in middle school. Now you already know, a lot of embarrassing things happen Not at really. that age. Uh -huh. You know, middle school's an awkward time. I was a very awkward kid, okay? What? Just Still am now, <laughs> but I was even more cringe, more awkward. Really? <laughs> How could you possibly get more cringe than we already I, are I now? I don't know if you could even imagine <laughs> that. Basically, this whole story revolves around something we all know and love. Actually, something we all know and hate. <laughs> Same. Oh. I hate those names. Oh, oh dude. man. Anytime the teacher is like, all right, guys, pair up for a group project, I hate it. You are immediately in trouble because y'all know we don't have any friends. <laughs> Nobody's grouping up with us. And also, this story involves a girl. Got some romance. This story about to get crazy. This story takes place in middle school art class. Okay. So in art class, everybody gets assigned to a different table. You oh, that sucks. You sit. Okay. Okay. Me too. My table was three people. It was me and two other boys. Now we were randomly assigned our table mates and these two kids, okay, one of them, literally everyone at school referred to this kid as Ginger <laughs> Dan. <laughs> This guy was the original bad boy. Well, wait, wait, Danger Dan? Oh, Danger Dan? What did people call you? <laughs> Justin? <What? laughs> Everyone called him Danger Dan because he was very scary. Very okay. aggressive. He was like very large, uh -huh. like tall and large at a young age. Uh -huh. And he had actually been suspended wow. once before. Because he got in a fight with some other students. That's so good. So Danger Dan was like really quiet. He always looked very intense. Yeah. And he just kind of sat in the corner. He was very scary, okay? And the other kid, we had Danger Dan, and the other kid, his name was Willis. <laughs> Willis. <laughs> Willis. This was the most cringe art table of all time. You got Justy, you got Danger Dan, you got Willis. <laughs> and Willis is really one of the centerpieces of this story. Now, Willis was a very awkward kid, very shy, just like me, uh -huh. except a little bit less cringe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He was just very quiet, like uh -huh. a very reserved kid. Okay. okay. So now the art teacher comes in and says, okay, we're going to have our final project before break. Everybody needs to get in random groups based on your table and do this together. I said, what? <laughs> I got to work with Danger Dan and Willis. Fudge. <laughs> why? This art teacher did not like our table. Uh -huh. She's why? like, these kids are troublemakers. Two of them are very cringe. <laughs> and one of them is a troublemaker. Okay. She didn't like us. Dude, I could not make this up. She literally split up the art studio because like all the groups need a place to work. She gave our table to another group. She put us in a closet. <laughs> like, I could not That's messed up. up. It was a dark, musty closet where all the art supplies were. Uh -huh. And she's like working there. There's no windows. <laughs> There's nothing in there. What was the project? Yeah, that you same. Had to together? We just had to make some sort of art project and then present it in front of the class. Okay. The group project was not off to a good start. Okay, I'm gonna say for about the first three days, nobody said anything in that closet. <laughs> we just sat there. Just looking at each other. Dude, I remember this to this day. Danger Dan was sitting there and he would take pencils from the art supplies because we're in the supply closet and he would just break all of them. A lot of people does. So trust me. It's not cool. You and just watching him. I was terrified. I said, get me out of here. A few days go by and you know, we got a couple weeks to put this together. I'm like, it is crunch time. I cannot let my grades slip because you know, I have a big brain. I got to do well in school. Okay. I said, I got to make a play. I got to do something. I got to break the ice. We're wasting too much time. You're going to save no. 
Guys, come on, Hodge. I got it's like an anime, like a sports team anime. I gotta come in and unite everybody because these two kids clearly don't care about their grades, uh -huh. and we need to do well. So one day I go to class. I'm determined to make a change. I'm still scared of Danger Dan because he's still there snapping pencils, not talking. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go try and talk to Willis. So I go up to Willis, just introduce myself, try to get a conversation going. It's very awkward, but we actually connect because I learned that Willis likes to <gasps> play chess. Chess okay. is awesome. Oh, awkward, nerdy, middle school Justy <laughs> is a chess master. <laughs> okay, I went to all the tournaments. I'm bringing home the trophies. <laughs> so Willis likes to play chess. So what we actually do is we use some of the art supplies and we paint it like a chess board and we used to play chess together wow. in the closet. You made your own chess board? We had nothing else That is so do. cool. <laughs> so a few days go by things are getting better and danger dan starts to open up a little bit too he starts to watch us play he's very interested in what's going on uh-huh i start he probably just ran out of pencils <laughs> he's like i'm gonna stab you <laughs> so i start to connect a little bit with danger dan also i find out he likes to play video cool. games online okay and again you know awkward, nerdy, middle school Justy is playing lots of online video games. Now, you know I like to play Maple Story, some fun stuff, some fun penguin. Playable. <laughs> Why you gotta expose me? <laughs> Just cause I got 50 club penguin accounts. So Danger Dan likes to play some older, like some violent games, mm -hmm. you know, online. Uh -huh. And he used to like teach me, like share tips. And we would actually go home from school and we would play together online. Okay. So I start to be friends with Willis and friends with Danger Dan through our Whoa, nerdy hobby. This. this is going great. Yes, it was going great. And soon it was literally like fun to go Dude. to art class. Yeah. So we just get to hang out in a closet unsupervised, just chill. Yeah. A few days go by and I say, all right, guys, got to get a team huddle in Bro. here. <laughs> guys, we need to make some sort of project. <laughs> My life hinges on getting a good grade in middle what? school art class. We had all connected now. We felt closer to each other. And Willis opened up to us. This left me shook. So there was this girl mm -hmm. in art class. Her name was Isabel. She was very pretty. She was a very nice girl. One of the popular girls, definitely out of the league of me <laughs> and Danger Dan. Okay, well that's not saying much because every girl Whoa, is out of your league. That sucks. <laughs> oh yeah, none of them are out of yours, right? Because your neck is so long. <laughs> We are flex, but okay. <laughs> so Isabel was definitely one of the cooler kids. Really pretty, really nice. I kind of knew her. Like, I had, like, mm -hmm. spoken to her a few times. Uh -huh. But, like, Willis and Danger Dan had never said anything to uh -huh. her in their lives. Mm -hmm. Well, Danger Dan just didn't talk to people. But Willis was really shy. Right. Like, he was really shy. To set this up, there was, in a couple of weeks, a school dance. There was, like, a homecoming-type dance. Okay. Okay. And so in this team huddle, Willis, like some sort of action movie hero, said, Yes, guys, I have a crush on Isabel. And you know what, guys? I feel empowered because now I have you two as my first friends. I think we should make it our project. We're gonna present this in front of the class. Uh -huh. It should be a way for me to ask Isabel to the dance. Dude! dude Willis stepped up. Oh my gosh, that's dude. so creative. Willis smart. I was like, dude, you're a genius. Let's do it. Okay, so you and Danger Dan were basically now his basically. like men? Yes. Me and Danger Dan had all figured out Willis is about gonna get married. Let's go. <laughs> we're thinking real hard. For the next couple days, we're just thinking we're brainstorming. Uh -huh. We're drawing up this schematics. Dude. Now, had Willis talked to Isabel <gasps> at all? No, never. Never in his life. <laughs> so this was gonna be like his first time talking. Dude, he's gonna Bruh. pop up, dude. Okay. He's just gonna go in. <laughs> now, at this point in my life, I had what? another hobby, another passion. <gasps> videos okay so in art class they had like these really old yeah. school camcorders uh-huh so they had like these camcorders that we could borrow uh -huh. right and so i was like dude what if we made like an action movie and present it like showed it in front of the class and at the end you ask her out dude <laughs> dude i was like dude everybody that is else so in class good. playing checkers the three of us <laughs> playing chess okay we got a big brain it's gonna work so you're gonna make a movie where willis is the action star and at the end of beating everyone one up, he's like, hey, by the way, Isabel, do you want to date me? That is exactly what it was. I, I still Dude. remember this, day. this plot was that Willis would play a spy, and he has a secret message he's got to <laughs> deliver. 
And you already know what that secret I, message is. I love you. <laughs> I gotta admit, this message. Actually... What is it, Belle? Will you go to the dance with me? Dude. So our team was so hyped. We were like, dude, this is the most 900 <laughs> IQ play of all time. We're gonna get the girl, and more importantly, Yay! We're gonna get okay? So for the next few days, we go outside. Dude, this was so epic. They came to school with costumes. I came with the camera, right? I was uh -huh. behind the camera directed. We had like fight scenes where like Spy Willis had to like, <laughs> Danger Dan and like over and over again. Dude, he looked so tough because Danger Dan was huge. Everyone was terrified He's of it. Breaking pencils in the action scene. <laughs> This story gonna make it sound like I had a crazy childhood, but somehow Danger Dan brought like a real sword. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> even it is true. Like, what? Brought, like a ninja sword for school, like a real one, and we used it in the movie. I don't That's know how. Dangerous. It's Danger Dan. <laughs> so we finished filming. I honestly remember, like I was so hyped about all this, right? Like this story is amazing. It's like a real anime. Uh huh. We united. Three people who didn't know each other, didn't like each other. We found out this guy likes this girl. We made this movie, right? I stayed up multiple nights in a row editing this video. <laughs> this was such a fun project. At the end of the day, I was like, dude, this is amazing. And then the movie's done. The big day arrives. The final project? <laughs> the final presentation dude. day arrives. The three of us roll up, you know. Bro. Stride out of the closet. Bruh, the squad. <laughs> squad. The squad. <laughs> They're not gonna know I hit him. No, put this on the big screen. <laughs> so we got it up on the projector. All the other groups present, you know, some kids like, I made a sculpture. <laughs> I made a clay pot. Whatever. You no. in the background. Ha 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 Then it's our turn. We put it on and we hit play. That action movie starts. We got some spy music going on. Uh -huh. we comes out and says, I have been given a secret message to deliver. Dude, the fight scene goes down. It's crazy. Now, I'm gonna put a little pause in this story right now. So far, right? So far, this whole plan just yeah, sounds, it sounds awesome. It sounds epic. Yeah, on paper, yeah it is. On paper, oh, no. this sounds epic. No, what's gonna happen? But, but realize this, Adam. No. Like, think for a minute, though. Like, imagine you're sitting in that class. You have to realize how cringe <laughs> all of this actually is. Same, same. I get cringe watching my old videos. <laughs> It was because we had spent so much time in that closet. We had lost our Probably mind. so. <laughs> and like, we're socially yeah. awkward kids. So yeah. they like have other friends to be like, hey, this is what we're doing. Yeah. Hey, by the way, this no, is a bad idea. Not. Yeah, nobody was like, dude, don't do that. It wasn't okay. bad. In the moment, we're this, like, dude, these scenes are this tough. This is not like, bad. Crazy. But when we were actually just sitting there right. watching it, <laughs> about halfway through, I was like. Like, fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> What did Danger Dan and Will uh, think like, while they were watching? I don't really know. I was just staring at the screen. I was trying because I knew I could feel like the teacher and all the other people staring at us. They're like, who are these cringe kids? So I was just me, just me, me. I look around. About halfway through the video, I realized, dude, this is probably the most cringe thing <laughs> that's ever happened in my life. And to make matters worse, I know that in like two minutes <laughs> at the end. He's gonna ask Isabel to oh. dance. So I start to panic. I say, okay, time for Spy Justine to shine. Could I somehow stop the recording from playing? How do I save this? But ultimately, I did. Absolutely. Sound like me. <laughs> and it gets to the end. And oh, there's no. some smoke effects. No. Willis pops up. No. Having defeated Danger Dan and says, I have the secret message to deliver. No. Isabel, will you go to the oh. dance with me? That was probably what the <gasps> name just said. Silence. Said. Dude, silence. It, it was silent except what for one it? sound. I Shep, cannot make boy. this up. <laughs> I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is so bad! Oh my god! Dude, it's about literally Why? crying and left the class. She just walked out. 
<laughs> Why? Did Why? You because of how cringe. This was that are. cringe. <laughs> she literally cringed into tears. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> to give her credit, look, Isabel was a very nice girl, and she did mm -hmm. actually end up saying yes because it would have just been like she can't. She say can. no to that. <laughs> but that's probably why she cried also because she realized like I can't say no at this point. Like everybody's seen this happen. <laughs> she went to homecoming with him as like a pity favor. Well, she couldn't say no, dude. He literally fought <laughs> your dad for her. In a that was oh my the God. most embarrassing day no. of my life. At the end of the day, we didn't get Willis the girl. We actually all got sick of project. That teacher was not amused. Okay. But at least on the bright side, we had made friends with each other. Yeah. Even though it was cringe, Danger Dan and Willis stayed my friends for a long time after that. That's awesome. Hey, we came out of it as friends. You know, we were partners in crime. Or should I say, partners in cringe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I give it that. I give it this one. This video was so relatable and that's why i like it so much it was relatable content i love it it was different i just i saw a side of them that i love to see and it was just like i liked relatability factor it was so awesome i uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please like subscribe if anyone want me to do please comment down below always in here which you just got to say and thank you guys so much for the support <coughs> I got so much for love and support. I was choking on my own words. Sorry. And stay safe, guys. Love you.